Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Yolise and today I am so 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 excited that finally I'm gonna be eating some tamales because I've been waiting for this time of year you guys. I love these tamales and a huge thank you to my mother-in-law who hooked it up. Um, one of her friends makes tamales and they are so so good. She always makes them around this time of year so a huge thank you to La Señora Ochoa for making these tamales. They're always on point, you guys. So I have some queso and I think it might, I'm not sure if it's just queso or if it has rajas in it. I think it might just be queso. Some queso tamales, pork tamales, and some chicken tamales on deck. I'm also actually gonna be answering some questions. I know in my last video I said I was gonna be doing a Q&A video for my next mukbang. And so yeah, I guess let's just get started. This first one is... Yeah, it's a queso con rajas tamal. This one's a little one, which is good because I'm not trying to eat too much, <laughs> you know? But let's give this one a try. Mmm. That is so delicious. So the first question is... <laughs> Can you see without your glasses? And, um, to a point, once it gets to like around here, I can't really see it or I can't read things. I get massive headaches if I have my glasses off for just like five minutes or if like I'm not, if I'm awake and I have my glasses off for like five minutes, I will get a really bad headache, so. I love these tamales so, so much. So the next question is, this is actually a question that I tend to get a lot. And it's, why do I pronounce words um, with an accent sometimes? So the one where I get it the most is when I did the Taco Bell quesadilla. And I had some comments asking me why I said quesadilla this way. Well, that's just how I say it. I mean, I grew up speaking Spanish. Um, Spanish is my first language, English is my second language. So I say Spanish words in Spanish just because that's just how I say it. I would have to go out of my way to mispronounce it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I would have to go out of my way to say it incorrectly. So um, that's why I say words like that. I mean, that's just the way I talk, you guys. Like, I don't mind when people ask, like, if they don't know, I mean, they don't know, it's cool. But whenever, I hate it when people try to tell me that I'm wrong for doing that. You guys, like, if a word is in Spanish, I'm gonna say it in Spanish. So, I guess that's that answer. Alright. That queso one was really good. So now I'm gonna try a chicken one next. And let's see what the next question is. Alright, so the next question is probably a question I get asked the most out of all these questions and that one is um, how do you eat all the food that you eat without um, being overweight? I review a lot of fast food items and stuff like that but honestly it's all about maintaining a balance. I mean I work out right before this I had an hour-long workout and it's not even like a super extreme crazy workout. I'll go out and run. I think that's one of my favorite ways to work out is running out in the fresh air. I'll watch YouTube workout videos I think one of my goals is to complete Insanity again because I've completed it once before and I think in 2018 or maybe in December I'll start doing Insanity again and I'll try to complete it um, in January. But yeah, I mean I work out and then this isn't all I eat. I mean just because it's kind of in your face, you know, it probably feels like it is. But outside of my videos, I try to eat healthy. I eat a lot of salads, and I know people hate salads, but you guys, I love salads. Salads are so, so delicious to me. So I'll eat a lot of salads and like fruits and veggies and stuff like that to kind of balance out like the bad things that I eat on my channel. And then also, I drink a lot of water. Like that's the main thing that I drink on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to stay away from like soda and stuff like that. I'll have sweet tea every once in a while, but I mainly just get water. Like if I ever go to a restaurant or something, I always just get water. So I think that's something that helps as well. And then also, whenever I do my reviews on like fast food, if it's like a really big burger or something like that, I will only eat half of it. I won't 
sit there and eat the whole thing. I will eat half of it and I'll save the rest for later. And that's pretty much like my lunch and dinner for the day. And then maybe I'll eat like a small salad or like some fruits and veggies in between the meals. Um, so that I'm not hungry, but yeah, it's all about having a balance to where it's not all I eat <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis and then working out and portion control. But also, I want to say that I'm not like the most fit person in the world. I haven't been doing crazy, crazy workouts because my back has been kind of hurting lately, but no pain, no gain, you know, so <laughs> I'm going to try to start doing um, some more intense workouts so that I can start building muscle because my arms, they're so weak, you guys. I'm such a weak person, so I want to start working on building some strength. <sighs> I'm in heaven right now. This is incredible, you guys. Hmm. So good. So the next question is, do you throw away the food after you review it? And the answer is no. I don't like throwing away food. I'm either saving the rest for later or I give it away. Like if it's a package of something like Oreos or donuts or something like that, if I don't need it, like I'll give it away. But I don't like throwing away food. I'm not going to act like I've never thrown away anything because there have been times to where I'll forget about, you know, like anyone. When you go buy groceries and stuff, and then you end up having to throw some stuff away because you either forget about it or you got busy and you didn't have time to make it and it expired. So, I mean, I'm not going to act like I'm a little angel that never throws away any food. I mean, I always try to find a way if I don't want it, I'll give it to someone else or something like that. Um, so that I'm not wasting food. I know a lot of people assume that stuff just gets thrown away and... I mean, whatever, to each their own. Like, if people want to review food and throw it away, that's that's their decision but I had someone comment on my video and they were like you're wasting food and I was just like what why why are you saying that just because you don't see me eat the whole thing doesn't mean that I'm throwing it away after I always eat it later but yeah it's kind of annoying when people just assume things that's what these are supposed to look like when they're done clean and I'm also kind of sick so I'm like if my voice sounds really deep and like raspy right now it's because I'm getting over a cold I was actually pretty sick last week so yeah it's probably why I sound so weird <laughs> right now next up is a pork one and this looks beautiful I'm gonna put these little leaves over here look how amazing that looks you guys Ooh! that looks so good check that out so I think this is actually going to be my last one, and I only have like two more questions to answer anyway. I think I'm going to be satisfied with three tamales, and I got to try one of each, so I think that's perfect. Um, and also, you know what, you guys? I feel like the slower I eat, the faster I get full, so that helps with portion control, eating slower for me. I'm not sure that it would, you know, help other people, but that's something that works for me is eating slow. Um, it makes me feel like I get fuller faster. So the next question is where did you and your husband meet? And we actually met in high school, but we weren't dating in high school. We didn't start going out until after my freshman year of college. That's delicious. What's another word for delicious? Yummy, scrumptious, tasty. Yeah, this is this is all of that. <laughs> the next question I've actually gotten a couple times and it's why my husband isn't in my videos or when he's going to be in one of my videos. And honestly, it's because he's camera shy. He's not comfortable in front of the camera. So as much as I want him to be in my videos, I'm not going to pressure him or force him to be in them because I wouldn't want it to be the other way around to where I'm uncomfortable with something and then he tries to pressure me or force me to do something that would just, you know, that wouldn't be cool. So I'm not going to do that to him. If he's ever in one of my videos, it's because he told me that he's okay with it. So I don't know, maybe one day he'll be comfortable enough to be on camera with me to be in one of my videos. But until then, I'm not, I'm not going to try to pressure him and do it. Hmm, there's so, so much flavor. I don't know which one I liked the best. They're all so delicious. I could probably eat like 10 of these in one sitting, but I don't need to. So I'm just going to eat three and I'll be good. 
All right, so the last question is, when are you going to go live? And you guys, oh, I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm pretty outgoing and stuff, but I don't know why it freaks me out thinking about going live. I'm going to be completely 100% with you guys. It kind of scares me to go live. I don't know, just because anything can happen, and it's live, and you can't do anything to stop it. You know what I mean? But, um... I think I'm gonna go live on Instagram before I go live on YouTube and I honestly really want to go live on Instagram soon so probably in December I'll go live on Instagram just because I have a lot of things that I want to do in December and I want to take you guys along with me so I always leave my Instagram and Twitter links in the description box below if you're interested in following me on there and seeing a live sometime soon on Instagram but as far as going live on YouTube I think I'm gonna wait a little bit to reach like a bigger milestone and maybe do a giveaway and do the giveaway live or something like that so I'm sorry that the answer was kind of vague I just haven't fully <laughs> figured it out myself the last bite you guys <sighs> that was pure bliss you guys pure pure bliss that was so delicious have you guys ever had tamales I know a lot of people have never had them but um if you have, I really am curious to know like what type is your favorite because right now it's usually it's the chicken one for me with the chile verde, the chicken one, but I don't know. These three were equally delicious. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you, seriously, guys. Like, Thank you so, so much for watching my videos and motivating me and supporting me through this whole process. I really can't thank you guys enough. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Peace out.